This demo shows you how you can use Ops Genie to trigger a job to run in Rundeck. So here I am in the Ops Genie screen, and I've got an existing alert here. And I notice I'm showing the alerts, and I'm showing all alerts. I'm going to trigger an alert just using an email, just because it's for testing. And it says alert service D is down. And I'm going to click send here, go back to the Ops Genie screen, and refresh it and we should see this alert come in. Now it's using an outbound webhook coming out of Ops Genie and into Rundeck and then back again to add a note to this alert and to close it. You see it's still open but now that I refresh it it's closed. It's automatically closed and if I click on this alert I can see there's a note over here on the right and it says closed because a restart fixed the problem. So let's take a look and see how this is created. So first thing is Rundeck has a feature called webhooks. And we set up a new webhook. It will create this for us. And then we parse out the alert ID here. And we get this post URL. This is then put into Ops Genie over here to in settings. And then this allows you to look at the configured integrations. And we can see this is showing right here. And this is where you put the webhook URL. So this talks back to Ops Genie. And similarly, uh, we also need a API key. And that's uh, contained under Configured Integrations. And then this API key. We take this API key and we put that into Rundeck. And we put that in to the job here. Here's the job. It's Ops Genie. And I click on Edit Job. And you can see the detail here in the workflow. I create an option. And this option gets that API key from the key storage so that it's secure. If I click on this, I can see it's uh, this Ops Genie API key. And then if I go back, I can look at, uh, if I go down here to the bottom, this is where you see the API call back to Ops Genie. And you can see it's constructed with some headers, and that's where you put the option key that it gets from above. And this is uh, where it adds the note. And here's where it specifies that it's going to close that ticket. That's it. Thanks for watching.